Hi there. Now for this question then, we were given that x equals tan squared 4y and asked to show that dy by dx reduced down to this particular form, quoting the values of a, p and q. And you can see it's 8 for a, p is a half, q is 1 half or 3 over 2, as I've got here. So to do this, we rely on this principle here. To get dy by dx, we find dx by dy, and then we reciprocate it. So when it comes to differentiating x with respect to y, we're given tan squared 4y, which you can see I've written as tan 4y all squared. And here we have to use the chain rule to differentiate this. So using the chain rule, We've got 2 times tan 4y to the power 1. And then we have to multiply it by the differential of tan 4y with respect to y. And differential of tan is sex squared. So you're going to get sex squared 4y. And then you have to multiply it by the differential of 4y, which is the 4 here. So again, you've got the chain rule in that part as well. So... Cleaning this up, you can see you get 8 tan 4y, and I can pull that out as a common factor because sex squared 4y is an identity. You should know that sex squared of any angle is 1 plus tan squared of that angle. So that's picking up on that basic identity there. Now we know that tan 4y is going to be the root of x, so I can put that as 8 root x times 1 plus x here. And then, knowing that root x is x to the power half, I can multiply that into the bracket here, giving me 8 times all of x to the power half plus x to the power 3 over 2. Then we pick up on this rule, that dy dx is the reciprocal of dx dy, and it leads into this result here, and I can say that it's identical to the form that we're asked to show, and that leads to a is 8, p is a half then, and q is 3 over 2.